Now on to the story as the Broadcasting Corporation celebrates 40 years of providing television coverage. This evening we highlight the impact of a former employee who made history in a male-dominated world. No, she wasn't a news reporter or a stylist. Standing at about 5 feet 3 inches tall, this woman was the first to capture ZNS news stories from behind the lens. To call this field male-dominated is an understatement. In fact, Agatha Christie recalls her bosses scoffing at the idea of a female camera woman. At the time, it was a male-dominant area, and so he told me no, and I was like, well, you need to allow me, you know, to shoot so you can see that I can do the same thing. It didn't get much easier. Christy says her male counterparts often tested her, as did the heavy-duty equipment, which was standard during the 80s and 90s. They didn't treat me no different. They, at the time, it was analog, so you had these big, big three-quarter-inch machines, uh, the BVP-150 cameras, and they were having these heavy tripods. And then you had to carry these stack of big tapes. Like you had to carry like five or six of them because they were like 30 minutes at a time. As you can imagine, Christy saw and felt a lot, absorbing all the tragedy and pain of her subjects, like passengers on an ill-fated Haitian sloop. You go to sleep and you wake up because you still have that picture in your head. And the good thing about it, you go to cover other events that suppress most of it. So uh, until you see something else that reminds you of it, you know. And then one, one experience I had was when I had to go to the dump site. They sent me to the dump site and I had to go on top of the pile and shoot. And that, that scent like stayed with me for like weeks. I was like, I, it was an experience. An experience that still few women have had. Christy is still among the few and will always be first. Keisha Adderley, ZNS Network News.